good morning and welcome to this Marks Reviews and Tutorials video. Today we are back looking at these stools again and uh, this guy here is um, becoming a bit of a problem. This uh, screw that holds in both this ring and the leg, um, the thread is worn. I've shown you this one when I put a bit of thread locker onto it, um, but what's actually happening the, the thread locker has held the other one, but I'm going to go a bit stronger. I'm going to try a different method and then compare them. I'm going to put some liquid nails or construction adhesive onto this one. You see there, it's very evident how the thread's worn right down, uh, the same as the others. This happens when it's loose, but you leave it loose and the metal's moving around on it. It destroys the thread. So certainly a bit of preventative maintenance to um, keep them tight all the time is far better than letting them run loose for a bit. So I'm going to cover the thread um, particularly where it's worn with construction adhesive and then do it up nice and tight and then let it set and see how we go with that. As I said, the one that I did with the uh, Loctite has actually held as well, but I'm going to go for something a bit more substantial this time around and try a different product. So this is the glue I'm going to use. This is just a very cheap brand. I'll put some links through in the description for different places you can get this in different quantities. Uh, it's Max Nails, Liquid Nails, Max Bond, but it's what it is is construction adhesive. That's what often it's called. And we're just going to coat up this thread and uh, stick them in. There we go. Now the important thing is uh, when you're putting this into place is try not to knock too much off at all because you don't want it spewing out the back here where the head is. So put it on thin enough that you can get it through because all you really want it to do is lock onto this thread here when it connects. Okay, so we're going to slip this in here. As I said, you want to do your very best to not wipe all the glue off. There we go, that's gone in nicely because you actually want it when it threads in to uh, end up at that joint there. So you now do it up tight and hopefully it won't just spin too tight. So put your drill on a on a lower setting so it's not too much torque. Yeah, that's just spinning. So just got to hope for the best with that. Hold it in place, and I want this leg where it's going to bend. So we set it like this, and then this one is loose as well. So we're going to pull this one out and put a bit of Need a higher setting on the drill than that to get it out. Okay. Now this one is the one that I put the. Uh, the thread locker onto and it had come a bit loose as well it was still holding as you can see it was tight to get out but um, we'll give that a go with the construction adhesive so we'll get a really good look here as to which one's going to be better and then we stick it in do it up the right one is helpful yeah, that one's going to do up a bit tighter. That one's sitting up okay. So there we go. I will come back in a month once this chair's had a bit of time and let you know how it's going. Okay, so a month later, not with the stool sitting there upside down, but a month of use later. It's actually about five weeks and the report's good. That um, chair is um, doing well. The legs are all nice and tight and she's doing good. So that's a good viable way. The construction adhesive is really good that it builds up a bit of thickness and puts something there to um, grab hold of it and hold it in place. So there you go. Next time around, I would replace that bolt um, because it, they'd worn away on the thread. But for now, five weeks in, this is doing good. Thanks for watching.